Hello and welcome to the Late Model Fixed at Langley. This is going to be an interesting one, I think. We've got 2.2 strength of field, which isn't the worst, but it is a later night race. And I saw some very interesting things in the practice ahead of time. And uh, some of those names are in in this session. So, I mean, it's always going to be a little interesting when you've got short track racing, right? I'm going to focus up real quick, though, try to get a good lap. I was actually feeling pretty good compared to how I normally feel on short track, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, though. Could be better. Pole position. Ah, uh, and then I overdrove it there. Oh well. A little too bad at a time. And then I tapped the wall anyway. But uh, that lap wouldn't wasn't as good anyway. Um, okay, I'll take that. Sixteen uh, O. I, f I can feel content with that. That's pretty close to what my best was. I was trying to hit a 15 in practice. Really close, but I couldn't quite get it. Even my optimal's not 15, so I'm trying to shave off you know, tens, hundreds, thousands <laughs> of seconds. But uh, open practice, like I said, very interesting. It was like a microcosm of the whole iRacing experience, because we had like a couple of 15-year-olds intentionally wrecking each other and cussing all over the mic, and just screaming at each other and then jeremy mayfield was in there <laughs> so you've got like the real world drivers like out there <laughs> and i'm pretty sure it was the real jeremy mayfield there's one jeremy mayfield apparently on iRacing and uh it, it's an old account and it was that guy so i'm assuming it's jeremy mayfield for real maybe not i could be wrong but uh regardless it was like you've got the young kids wrecking each other, you've got the real world drivers, and then you've got the other guys that are just trying to hit good laps or whatever. It was, it was quite interesting. But um, at least one of the people that was intentionally, well maybe, yeah, intentionally wrecking is in this race, so I am a little fearful. But, you know, we'll try to avoid all that. Do the best we can. Third place, I am content with that. I like being on the inside. We'll see if that changes at all. Looks like qualifying is about to end due to inactivity. So maybe we'll get it, be able to start here. Everyone's in here. Nope, canceled. That sucks. So someone just uh, messing with us or something, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully it'll take uh, my inside row. That'd be great. But I feel a little bit better than I normally do. Like I said, on, on short tracks, usually I don't feel very competitive, but maybe it's the uh, little bit of experience I got in the K5 Championship Season 0 paying off. Because this is obviously not the first time I've done this combo, and I practiced hard for that, so maybe that's, uh, you know, maybe it's showing up for me. But with the five doing laps, we got P3, got a... 3.7 guy right there, and then I think there's eh, not such a big drop off. It's down to 2.9, but I think uh, it split one time because these fields are pretty short. Yeah, I think it split once. We probably got a top split and a bottom split. I was hoping Jeremy Mayfield was going to be in here, but he might have actually been in the second split because he was in, I think he had lower than 1.5 somehow, you would think. The real world drivers would be blasting all of us into space, but maybe it doesn't always translate so well into the virtual world. Obviously, in a real car, he would be running laps around all of us, I'm sure. But I'm waiting on the three to do something. And I guess we'll probably just wait for. 20 more seconds. I am the number one car, unfortunately. But some good news is I found out why my audio has been giving me such a headache lately. 
because I tried to fix my audio a little bit to try to get rid of some of the background noise and everything, and it just felt like I was making it worse, and it was so frustrating. Brody, jump Brody, into the outside. Outside. That's the end of the session. And it was frustrating me because it felt like I just made it worse, and then I realized just a little bit ago that some of the, uh, like, filters and stuff that I was using weren't active. And I'm like, no wonder. Like, some of the suppression and stuff wasn't even working. So I, I made some adjustments, and hopefully it sounds okay. It should sound better. I might have to make some finer adjustments, but I'm hoping this sounds as good as ever. That's the goal. The goal was to improve it, and I felt like I was making it worse. <laughs> but hopefully it's it's good now. So, 50 laps here. We're ready to go, finally. We're going to get session finally, last lap no, up. I'm just going to try to be... Real consistent, try to keep the bottom line so I don't get hung out to dry out there. Oh wow, I regret it up real quick. I'm not sure why we waited so long for qualifying. But regardless, we kept our P3, so that's cool. We'll be able to get a great jump too, hopefully. We'll be able to see the leader real well. Is this a first gear start? Pretty slow pace speed. Ooh, I think it's a first gear start. Don't run into me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the guy behind me never really gave me a bonk. That's interesting. Second, uh, first gear start. Hopefully I'm not terribly, terribly wrong. One left to green. Guy ahead of me is kind of starting and stopping. I just, uh, I hope we survive it. I just want to get a nice, decent finish. Not quite sure what to expect from the quality of racing here, but we're about to find out. He's going really inside. Oh, good. Now he's blinking, too. Just what we needed. Clear. Okay, we're fine. Trying to make sure I don't overdrive it. I got my brake bias back just a bit. 57%. Was feeling okay. Getting a little bit of space, so I enjoy that. Gotta keep it, though. Gotta try to focus on what I'm doing, not think about uh, the other guys around me, because that's how you miss your marks, when you're not looking at what you're doing and instead watching uh, other people's cars. So I'm gonna just try to remain focused. Don't go out and hit the wall, which is something I like to do at short tracks. Well, I don't particularly like it, but you would think I would, considering I do it so often. So I'm trying to be a little bit patient on the throttle. Not so overdriving. That, lap time was Is that guy using the apron a little bit again. Trying not to watch him. Hopefully he doesn't start blinking again. That wasn't very fun. It's gonna be hard to ignore him if he's flashing like a Christmas tree. You've just done a 16.2. We got 1.3 behind us. Hey, if I'm just set up for a podium, that's just fine. Let's see if we can get anything else, but I don't know if like I'm gonna be able to keep the tires on it. I don't, I'm not really particularly good at doing that on short tracks and stuff. Don't really know how best to do that necessarily. Well, we almost get our nose on him. Well, I'm not really trying to, but kind of almost happened anyway. That was a 16.2. We drove that a little. Maybe we, uh, we can wait for a mistake and take advantage. We're right here. I 
think I've ever won a race at Langley. The only time I've ever won in the late model was at Phoenix, which is kind of a questionable track for this car. So I don't know if that might be kind of like a Mickey Mouse win. <laughs> but uh, that was a fun race. It was a good race anyway. I enjoyed it regardless, but maybe not a track that uh, you would normally associate with these cars. A little big for it, maybe. So it'd be cool to get like a legitimate short track win in a short track car. But for now, I am content for running third and uh, seeing what we can do. Seven is holding me up a little bit. He's using a little bit too much of the apron right now. Don't think that's helping him. Maybe he's getting tight and doesn't have a choice. Really would like to set him up. Maybe get on his inside. He's falling off a little bit. I don't want the leader to get too far away. That's kind of picked it up a bit. Or I've slowed down, one of the two. Got plenty of room behind us still. Took a glance at that. We got about two seconds now. I see smoke. That's not great. No cautions in this series, of course. Pretty fun, though. I kind of like Langley as a short track. I feel like these cars always feel a little bit different than a lot of other cars on the short tracks because of their low power, but I'm kind of liking how this combo feels. Just keeping it on that low line and using a little bit of apron if you need it. You can get away with that. Ooh, I'm going to drove the exit there. Just kind of having to check up for him a little bit. The leader hasn't pulled away either. He might just be driving to a pace, though. Not overdoing anything. Who knows? Mmm, lap traffic. That's gonna make things spicy. Throwing some hot peppers into this dish. <laughs> We're making a delicious curry or something. I don't know. A curry? Cause car? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna stop now. Sometimes you get drive brain. You're functioning kind of a, like at half capacity. Oh my god, my driving's at half capacity now. It's starting to get tight and I'm over driving. All right, get it together, hit your marks. Maybe I can use a little bit more of that apron. It is getting a little tighter. Maybe I've been overdriving this whole time. Flap traffic, so far so good. They're getting out of the way. I am drifting up and almost getting into them. Outside. Clear. Okay, that, they did a great job there. Got five. He was right behind us earlier. He must have had some trouble somewhere. He does not look like he's getting out of the way, potentially. Okay, there he goes. A little concerning for a second. A little good. Okay, he's not going to get out of the way for me, I guess. Third place doesn't matter enough. Apparently. Nope. We're good. <laughs> Look at me, ready to bring the pitchforks out. Nah, he's just fine. He didn't slow me down at all. Don't think I'm able to keep up with the guys ahead anymore. Kind of missing my marks. I, I swear the fatigue gets to me and I start losing my focus a little bit. Maybe I just can't keep up with what the car wants for me. I'm not sure, but I feel like this happens a lot of these short tracks. I start missing my marks because my hands start hurting. 
start getting dizzy. <laughs> These darn short tracks making me dizzy. It's like I'm spinning around in an office chair. Well, we're halfway finished with this one, though. Got 21 to go right now, I think. I'll only take a quick glance, but I think that's about where we are. Let me do what I said I was going to do. Just try to be consistent. Try to keep it on the down low. Don't hit the wall, even though I tried to. Maybe I need to be putting my brake bias back. How am I supposed to find time to do that, though? I guess I would need to map something to my wheel to really effectively get that done. Everyone's always like, oh yeah, I, I moved the brake bias back later in the race. And then I'm, it's like, how am I supposed to do that? My hands are full. Full of steering wheel. The gap in front is now 0.7. We still got plenty of gap behind us though. It's, I took a glance, three seconds now. Every time I look, we're about uh, a second further ahead of the guy in fourth. Maybe I should glance back and forth more often and we'll get lots of distance. <laughs> A little worried about if uh, if I were to put the brake bias back, if I would start getting loose on entry. So I feel like it's on exit where I really need the turn. Like I don't feel like I'm struggling too hard to get turn into the corner. It's on exit that's giving me trouble, and brake bias isn't going to do much for that, is it? Oh, well, ain't. So maybe I'll just keep it where it is, not try to uh, do anything too crazy. Just hope for a mistake, maybe. That might have been uh, the only way to get around him. Anyway, I'm taking this corner strange. I got slightly on entry. Gotta stop smashing on the throttle and ease onto it too. Something else I'm doing wrong. You've just done a 16.6. Always get a better angle too. Get a little bit afraid of the wall, and I don't get the best angle into the corner, into the next corner sometimes. And that would be nice to improve on as well. Be catching up a little bit to P2. Lap time was 16.5. 4.5 back to fourth. Ooh, I think you just had a tight moment. I just had an almost wall moment. Great job. Dan. That's not great either. Lap times are pretty consistent. Crew chief assuring me the lap times are consistent. I do like hearing that. Just here. At least I can pressure him, maybe. I don't know if I need to pass him. Maybe I could pressure him into a mistake. Or pressure him into a blink. Making this internet more nervous than him, apparently. Got that in pretty hard. Too hard, actually. I think. All right, we're pretty close. We're pretty close to his bumper. We got lap traffic doing things. Some things and some stuff. Outside. Has to take a shallow entry right there. Clear outside. Five Don't run him over. Five to go. Four to go, pretty much.
Don't know how I'd pass him unless he made a mistake. To the end, though. Two more. Let's go. All right, Colton. We're matching race pace. Two laps left. Come on. You're looking good for a podium. White flag. One more left to go. Last lap. Bring it on home. Oh, I tagged the wall just a little bit. It's trying to get everything. No chance, but that's all right. Whew. Good race, good win. Good drive. Chicken flag, chicken flag. That was a pretty good race. Good job. Saw a little bit of smoke. Didn't see uh, anything too wild, though. In terms of lap traffic, everyone did a pretty good job. All right, that was some good nice. Race. Didn't burn up your right oh, track, but it was safe. That's a nice uh, short track racing, I think. P3. Well, it was 4i rating, because number one car. Man, that sucks. Getting. Losing i rating with a third place. But 82, 81. I guess that's pretty good, unless they're both worn out. I don't know what other people are getting, but I'll take it. Definitely wasn't so bad after some of the concerning things I thought saw in practice. Looks like people actually tried a little harder in the race, maybe. But, time to see the incidents. Maybe it was worse than I thought. Maybe we were in a nice little bubble up front. So, lap one. Just this guy blinking a little bit. Nice little wall slap. Hmm. Interesting. That happened right behind us, too. So what are we getting here? I'm not sure. I think the five kind of turns down, right? It's kind of it's tricky for me to say, because I'm not very good at short tracks. <laughs> but I think maybe he has to aim a little bit wider, take a little bit wider. Of an entry? I don't know. Where's the four supposed to be aiming? Maybe right there? I don't know. I don't think I know enough to be able to say definitively. Could just be a racing incident, too. Four thought that uh, he was going to enter wider. The five thought he was going to enter more shallow. And that's how they found each other. Not sure. I'm not skilled enough with this to be able to make a determination on that one. And I will admit that. <laughs> Sucks for the five, though, regardless. He's the one that really got the worst of it. He almost went over the wall. <laughs> and then insult to injury. Now he's getting tapped from behind. Interesting. He's still uh, kind of up there. Yeah, it's like the same exact thing. Ten's got the nose on him. We're just entering the corner a little bit different. Hmm. Maybe the five's expecting, you know, people to enter right by that cone. A lot of people do that, but maybe uh, the ten's kind of following this guideline right here. Maybe that's where there's a discrepancy. But the five's getting deja vu, so that looks very similar. Just a bit of wall. I think we're going to get just a bit of wall. Speaking of deja vu, here's your leader. I guess he got a little bit of wall too. Nah, that's nothing. Just gonna see a bunch of that though, I think, because otherwise I think this was a pretty clean one. Just the five having a bunch of bad luck. Maybe it's karma, because the five is the guy that was intentionally wrecking people in practice. I wasn't going to say it unless he was causing problems in this race, but <laughs> he was, and then he seemed to be racing fine. He just ended up in a couple of incidents. 
that I don't know who to blame on. And then there's a truck. And the end of the incidents. So, all right, pretty solid race. I'm happy with the finish, even if I racing says, no, nah, you stink, you should have done better. <laughs> I'm happy with it. We kept it to zero X, and it was a pretty clean race overall, if you weren't uh, the number five. So, that'll do it, I guess. Pretty quick one. Quick one, hopefully some nice audio if uh, I got the settings right this time. And uh, I will see you next time. I appreciate you for watching. Have a good one.